going on? My name is Death Star 813, as you can see, because, you know, video says bye, whoever. And I'd like to thank you for clicking on the video. Now, it's a jump rank match. Nothing, you know, no trigger coding, just jump rank. No, your headphones aren't broken. This is footage from December 1st, 2012. My very first YouTube video. At the time, I was using an old laptop, Windows Movie Maker, something I still use to this day, and an Avermedia Game Capture HDC281 device that was never meant to record voice along with the gameplay, but I'm a MacGyver wannabe, so myself and a gentleman at Best Buy made it work. Growing up watching SciFox Hound, I always liked the idea of having a community of a group of people that help each other. It's not something I always had in my life, and when I was in middle school, I would have a Call of Duty clan that I was in charge of. We called this the TVGK, the Video Game Kings. I always liked acronyms, and thusly I created the NCK for my channel, the Non-Caring Crew. We don't care about negativity, if others don't like us, if those who see us judge us, and we don't care if life is tough. We were a crew, we were damn proud of it, and we stuck together like glue. Unsurprisingly, Eventually, this was kind of seen as edgy by not just myself, but others. So I changed it to the Noble Crusading Knights. What is going on, NCK? Deathstar813 here, and welcome to Destiny. But I'm not going to be doing anything in this video. I just want to let you in that, um, yeah, the NCK is uh, it's a bit changed now. Uh, after talking a lot with Shoot Hardcore, who you've seen in a good amount of my videos, and a few other people, I have finally found the replacement for the NCK. It's still NCK, the abbreviation. It's still NCK, but now it's the Noble Crusading Knights, which now I know that sounds weird and odd to everyone, but let me explain. The Noble Crusading Knights is, it's still kind of the same idea as non-caring crew, but that's no more. Because also, I just want to point out that non-caring crew is actually non-caring. It's basically one word because it has a dash or a hyphen in it. But it's a bit more refined, but the same idea. Crusade our positive message around. Stay true to ourselves. It was a small group, but it was pure. Eventually, I started playing Minecraft. The never-ending series. Something's still technically going, but a lot slower nowadays. At this point, YouTube was my getaway. All these old videos had such low views that it was perfectly fine. I had no need for fame, and because I constantly got low views, I didn't want fame. I just liked making videos every single day. Sometimes I would come home from school and upload two videos a day. Two! Something I can't even fathom now, just because it was fun. Then, Four years in, after playing all the Homefront campaign on the channel, my very first playthrough, after a hundred episodes of the never-ending never series, and other personal accomplishments, Undertale happened. Sons, you get weaker every day. It's worrying. Do you think I'm stupid? Nah, bro. You're the brightest thing down here. <laughs> hey, Papyrus. Yes, Sons. Are you hungry? Why? Because I can make you a PB&J. Oh god, Sans, please don't. Sans witch. Oh my god! 100,000 views. 150,000 views. 200,000 views. I went from having 40 subscribers to over 5,000 literally in a week. Now there's a very good chance that if this video was recommended to you in your feed, that is because you found me from these Undertale comic dubs and you might have even forgotten that you were subbed to me, in which case I don't blame you. I would record the comic on the Xbox internet app and cut it in Windows Movie Maker while adding the Audacity video vo I mean voice files. This is my first time scripting a video in 10 years, alright, just give me a little break. It was more than a passion for me and the funny thing was that I didn't know about comic dubs, I just wanted to do something fun. I just like the idea that this funny looking small fat skeleton man has a Boston accent and I go, hey, I'm from Boston, I want to do that. So I did. And it was fun. It was fun. I knew audio work. I knew how to make audio files work in videos. I didn't understand the video aspect. I just understand audio. So that was perfect for me. It was a game I loved that impacted me a lot. It was something that I liked, and hey, it was fun, so I did it. After a lot of the dubs, I ended up leaving Undertale behind, and as was expected, the views dropped, but not entirely. All the videos after the Undertale uh, stint, I guess you would call it, went from one to two views per video to four to eight. 
Now, as someone who watches and follows the likes of some ordinary gamers, Wendigoon, JT Music, big channels, Stupendium, I know that's minuscule. It's tiny. But, comparison is the ultimate thief of joy. Five, ten, even eleven people who watch one video out of seven hundred that are now up for my channel forever are way more than I ever wanted when I started. I had my 15 minutes of fame, and it made me realize just how lucky I am to have my 45 minutes of whatever the opposite of fame is. College happened. Three months, five months, one year, three years and more apart between videos. You look at my channel now, I just one little flick of the mouse down with the scrolling wheel, and you're gonna see videos from three years ago. Life happens. I graduated, I got a girlfriend, I got a job, quit, got another job, quit, COVID happened, get another job, quit, pay bills, quit that job, get another job, get insurance, just everything happened. And it all comes to a head, going forward in time, to now with live streams. The Whistler's Podcast, Cryptids, Investigations, Creepiness, and then my own ARG, friends helping me with it, pushing myself to the limit, putting everything into it, and it does... well... It doesn't do the best. But it was worth it. And now we're here. Ten years is not a long time. It also isn't fast. When the sky once looked blue, the earth knows only as the past. Bring me a seed, I'll plant it to grow. But in one or ten years, will I still be? We can never know. When I leave, will the seed still be, or will the tree cease and fall for the woodpecker's beak? I bring you my heart from now till then, but until the time has come, let me make amends. I honestly don't know what to say in this video. I know what I want to say. I know I want to say that I want to make a short film of Fallout with my props that I have sitting there collecting dust. How I want to be like the back rooms, Mandela Catalog, Monument Mythos, Local 58, and craft a story unlike anything else where you can either take it at face value or dig deep and spend just hours and hours theorizing. How I want to do YouTube for a living, no physical labor, no killing out my sciatica, bum knee, asthma, legally, nearly legally blindness, and my need to complain about these things when I shouldn't be and I should be thankful for just everything else I have in my life, but then also bottling up and not complaining when I should complain to avoid a mental issue. I've been on YouTube for over a third of my life. Almost a half of my life. I'm 24 now. And all I have learned is that I suffocate my creativity for the sake of making something, anything, while I'm standing in the headlights like a deer ready to be hit just so I can say I made something push myself to pump out content until eventually I find something that clicks. And that isn't good enough. Not for me. And it's frustrating. I don't know what tomorrow will bring. I don't know what I can do to make my YouTube adventure more exciting for myself and you, and I don't know who made this artwork that was sent to me in YouTube DMs over 8 years ago that is still my PC background to this day from before I even had 100 subscribers. But to that person, to you who watched this, to those who stayed with me, and to those who have left, I just want to say, all I can say is thank you. In college, I had a radio station, and when I ended it, I would say the following, and I mean it every time I say it to this day. Please remember, somebody somewhere loves you, even if they don't know it yet. So if for nobody else, then for me, we will never meet. Odds are, I will never be at a point in my life where I can have a convention, or even make an appearance, or even have a group of 10 people meet up. But, I do care about you. You could be scum of the earth, or you could be the next Mother Mary. It doesn't matter to me. You're worth it. Everybody is. So if for nobody else, then for me, make the people who love you, or who will love you, or who have loved you proud, and make yourself proud most of all to be who you are. I'm only 24, and I shouldn't be talking this philosophical, but life isn't easy. We all know that. And it isn't meant to be. But sometimes the best thing you can do is just think of tomorrow.
but don't forget about today. I love you all, each and every one of you. Thank you for 10 years, and I'll see you in another 10.